I want to demonstrate a revolutionary yet simple concept in a debris separator where the debris is removed from airflow entering the separator in about one tenth of a second. For my prototype I'm using an 18 and a half inch diameter Weber grill where the modified top is the separator and the bottom is the receptacle. The receptacle could just as well have been a trash can or a bucket. The vacuum source is a 6 horsepower, 16 gallon shop vac with a 2.5 inch diameter hose. The vacuum is rated at 180 cubic feet per minute and generates an airflow speed of about 60 miles per hour. The vacuum has been cleaned inside and has a new filter. To demonstrate the effectiveness of the separator, I tried to think of things that would be the most difficult to remove from the 60 mile an hour airflow. I came up with dandelions and down feathers. So here's a couple of dandelions and also some down feathers that were donated by my parrot, Hook. As you can see, the receptacle of the debris separator has been cleaned. And as previously mentioned, the vacuum is also clean and has a new filter. Now placing the separator back on the receptacle. Checking for fit to be sure of a good seal. Turning on the vacuum. You can see how light the down feathers are. They're already moving. There go the dandelions. And now the rest of the down feathers. We're done, so let's turn off the vacuum. Notice that it wasn't necessary to leave the vacuum on for any amount of time to clear the separator of debris. This is because the separator doesn't rely on gravity to remove the debris, but instead uses centripetal forces that instantly remove the debris and discharge it into the receptacle. Let's open it up and let's see what we've collected. Right away we see several down feathers. And as I zoom in we also notice many dandelion florets. There's a whole bunch of florets uh, around those two down feathers. Sorry for the autofocus problems. All right, let's take a look in the, in the vacuum. I don't see anything, no dandelions, no feathers very very clean nothing got past the separator let's check the filter no evidence of anything on the filter it's as clean as the day it was made
Now that we've seen what the separator can do with flowers and feathers, let's try it on a couple of more likely materials. On the left is some very fine sawdust from the local Home Depot's cutoff saw. And on the right are some aspen wood shavings I got from PetSmart. Turning on the vacuum. Okay, let's see what we have in the receptacle. It's no surprise to see collected debris here. Many collectors can do this. The difference is that while others claim to collect up to 99.99% of the debris that enters, I believe this separator collects more than 99.9999%. The real proof of the effectiveness of this separator will be here in the vacuum. So let's take a look. It appears completely empty, except maybe for a very fine film of dust on the interior surfaces. Now, let's check the filter. It looks incredibly clean. There are no traces of sawdust or shavings anywhere. So far so good, but let's make a couple of changes and push the design a little more with some additional tough testing. For this demonstration we'll be using a 32 gallon Rubbermaid trash can for the collection receptacle. The separator has been modified with the addition of a flange that fits the top of the trash can. The trash can, vacuum tank, and filter have been cleaned. Here we have about one gallon of sawdust from a local cabinet shop. This is a mixture where about half is from fine tooth sawing and the rest is very fine dust from sanding operations.
first let's see what's in the trash can You can see the bulk of the collected sawdust is in the bottom while some of the finer dust is stuck to the sides. Now let's look in the vacuum's collection tank. It's virtually empty except for a very fine film of dust on the inner surfaces. And now the filter. Nothing is visible on the pleats, however there is a little dust on the filter's bottom that's hard to see in the video. Now let's go back and verify that there's a fine film of dust on the inner walls of the tank. Now let's see if we can dislodge anything from the filter's pleats. Nothing detectable comes out. I don't know exactly how much sawdust got past the separator, but I would guess it is less than one quarter teaspoon. That would be less than three ten thousandths of the one gallon collected, which is pretty efficient.